Um, I th one of the things that that I have to mention, uh, like in my speech this morning, I was a teenage father. And the way that that shaped my life was it helped me understand really quickly that education was going to be pretty much my only way out of um, my current circumstances at that time, especially in preparation for trying to build a future for my family. Um, so after having my daughter, I was 14 when she was born. After having my daughter, I eventually um, met a woman, got married, had another son, or had a son, and my son's mother and I got divorced. I became a single father for a little while. And at the time I was working full time, going to school full time, and trying to raise a son. It was extremely, extremely hard. Mm. But I think the, the adversity, I think solidified my commitment, not only to education, but to the idea that this is something that I can actually talk to other people about. Um, so eventually after graduating from undergrad, I went to UCLA for graduate school. Uh, and this was 2003, and so UC and LA was dealing with, or the UC system was dealing with the Proposition 209, mm -hmm. uh, which got rid of uh, all of their affirmative action programs, things like that. Um, and it was there that I think the world of sort of social justice became real to me in, in, a, in a policy way. Uh, so in LA, I got a chance to work for a pilot program that essentially the goal was to help high-performing African-American and Latino students from LA high schools make it into UCLA or Berkeley, uh, the two flagship UC schools. Um, so we succeeded in getting about 15 freshmen um, into UCLA and the next year or two years later I went to the University of Wisconsin-Madison believing that I would do a PhD in history. Mm -hmm. um, and there I had the awesome, awesome responsibility of working for the Posse Foundation. And so as a, as a Posse mentor, I had charge of 11 students mm -hmm. who were from California that all went to the University of Wisconsin as a Posse. And what being a Posse mentor did for me, again, myself and those 11 students, uh, we met every week for two years and every other week one-on-one -on -one for two years. It changed my life, it changed their life. All students are, um, we had one white student other than that, everyone else was African-American or Latino. Mm -hmm. um, after that two years, five of my 11 students graduated in four years, nine of the 11 graduated in five years, and the other two graduated in two years. And so it was just, I mean, we outpaced the university's graduation by far. It was amazing. I mean, it was the first time that I got a chance to really be like, wow, like, I'm pretty good at like, <laughs> mental, like I'm, I'm good at something, you know, I'm, I'm good at something dealing with education. Um,